On setting the select to catch, the first thing you need to do is set the pan tension. This can be done before you go out into the field. Set the unit. Take one of your anchoring spikes. That hole. Once that unit's set, never put your fingers in there, as it says right on the instructions. Put your safety nail in there and press down. Then you can tighten or loosen this adjustment bolt depending on what animal you want to catch. If you're after a bear or whatever, you crank it all the way up. If you want to catch a coyote, you bring it down. And you can kind of keep setting like this, adjusting until you get it to where you want it. And this nail just keeps it from slamming back every time, which is a little bit hard on the unit. So once you've got it where you want it, you're ready to place it in the ground. They got a shallow depression, about the size of the unit and about the depth of it. Have a check, you need to get out how it sits. So once it's in place, take your anchoring spikes. And I like to use all five of them. You can get by with just a couple. But you got all five, chances are if you catch something, the unit will stay in the ground and there's less risk of, uh, of damage to it. Once that's there, press your hammer firmly in there and keep pressure on the top and set it in fluid motion. The select to catch doesn't take much longer than a normal trap to set once you've set it a couple times. You can get by without the wax paper, but I like to use it. Keep dirt from getting around the pan. If it rains a lot, it might make the tension to where it's a little heavier to go off. And also in the winter, it keeps water from getting in there and freezing around the pan. You just simply just pop that over the elevation wires, like so. Now this is a, a wolf lion snare. Each one's different. They have a breakaway on there uh, of various strengths, depending on the animal you want to catch. Or if you have this anchored solid, if you catch something larger than you're targeting, most of those animals will open that up and get loose on their own. It goes around like that. The red keeper goes into the red sled. And the black keeper goes, there's a hole on either side. And it just depends on what side you're setting on. If you're on that side, you can set on that side, this side there. The most important thing is don't have your snare kink like that. It won't function as well. So have the natural curve hook in. You can either stake this off, or I, if I can, I like to anchor solid. You can either anchor snare right there or you can use an extension cable hook to the swivel off to a tree or whatever and I like that the best because then I know on that tension breakaway device that you know I'm anchored solid and uh, that'll work function properly. Always make sure your red keeper is all the way down that's important and, and if it's wet uh, you might want to even dry that hole a little bit because that makes it a little bit more slippery and it might, you know, when it comes back, pull out. But as long as the cover's on, that usually will take care of that. Once you have that in place, you put the housing cover on. Very important that this wedge is placed like this, so this end towards snare. And that way, when that block comes back, it lifts that up when the block hits this wedge. And that helps your snare right up these four wires while it's closing. Put that in place. Make sure your, your breakaways are straight on your lock. Okay, if your chain gets kinked up in any way to unkink it, you just simply have to turn it till it's straight. That's really important that it's straight up and down. It's important to uh, cover this with 
dirt or very fine grass. You don't want to use long grass because when that snare closes, if the grass gets caught between the leg and the chain, I kind of like to have a little bit of You can have grass or whatever on just because it doesn't matter. Just around that snare, you want to be kind of careful. You know, if you do use something, make sure it's kind of a fine material. To, you know, a rock here off to the side and put some scent and have a scent set. Or you can have a trail walk through, which, which I like to do the best. And, uh, you know, you can reach down here and feel where your wires are. Like I say, they're really hard to see. You need to place a couple of sticks like that, if you'd like, or you could even, you know, do something like that. Just so long as you don't have so much weight here that, you know, that that, that cover has a hard time coming up. That's basically the setup. The best thing about this is this. And once an animal's caught, they break free from the unit, and a lot of times they'll just stay in the ground.